Morning class, this is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. This is part four, the final part in this free acrylic painting landscape course. I'm just going to add some ultramarine blue and some alizarin crimson to get started. So this pink here is just a mix between the white and the crimson. That's all it is. Just start with the white, add a tiny amount of the crimson. You don't need much at all to get this nice bright pink. blend that edge to keep it a bit softer again some of this color some of the blue color that we had for the sea and you know you can just you know break it up I said for the sea I use the one for the sky but mistakes happen when you're painting so I'm just lightening this with the white and this areas here I can just you know add a touch to so with the bright pink it's nice that isn't it And see how I can work side to side you know, just to feather that edge from it And then now tone down that uh, pink a bit with this other blue that we've already pre-mixed and you notice you know on this side of the of the picture there's a little bit of it here and a little bit of that color down there you can see that down there Now just with some more of the blue onto the premix sky colour. Might add a little bit to that corner. So 
So now when we have another look at the picture, we'll see how the burnt umber that we first put in here um, is too warm and not dark enough. So we can just mix a black between using the burnt umber, add some of that blue to it, the ultramarine blue, and you see how that gives us you know, a lovely dark black we can start to just put in especially on this the base of the land you don't need to worry too much about the top I quite like having part of it there and then with the white on here I'm just going to add a little highlight and I use quite a dry brush so it breaks on the texture of the canvas surface. A really lovely painterly approach and sometimes this is just what you're after. You know, a real feeling of the brush marks, the movement. You can of course work more into a painting to make it more realistic but sometimes these just work absolutely, at real cracking little paintings. What I'd now do to bring it to a better finish is I'd start to introduce glazes in different colours and just to work on the whole thing um, just a bit more. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. If you want to paint along with this, you can go to my website. There's a link to a download to this picture and all the steps that I've gone through on here so you can follow along at home. I'd love to see your results. Um, let's get painting. For more advanced acrylic techniques, have a look at my course, The Art of Acrylics.